thank you so much. So uh, I I welcome all the participants here uh, in this live uh, webinar regarding the uh, uh, BTEC admissions in the University of Delhi and the Faculty of Technology. Uh, many thanks to my esteemed colleague, uh, Dr. Anand, uh, who is the joint dean admissions, who is uh, really looking after all the admission processes very, very effectively and uh, giving all the suggestions and uh, resolving all the queries from the aspirants. So this is uh, uh, the landmark step of the university uh, last year. Uh, our Honorable Vice Chancellor has launched this uh, Faculty of Technology and the three flagship programs under this faculty, namely uh, BTEC in Computer Science Engineering, BTEC in Electronics and Communication, and BTEC in Electrical Engineering. And uh, the vision of this is, is more hands-on and uh, more uh, real life experience uh, for the students and giving them the exposure to the state of art infrastructure. And uh, we are also coming up with our own dedicated uh, building to house all these three departments uh, within the university campus. And I think the next year, uh, the entire uh, program would run over there. So these are just uh, small things I would like to initiate and uh, some key features and the key parameters I would like to share with all of you uh, that this uh, faculty of technology is taking care of all the new dimensions and under the emerging technologies, working on international collaborations, uh, working on uh, different universities in India and abroad to do the joint uh, research the joint programs under that our students are getting the international exposure. Recently, we have signed a very, very futuristic uh, MOU with uh, HSC University in Russia, where this, we are setting up a mirror lab and incubation facilities within the faculty so that the students of uh, Russia and students of uh, our faculty of technology would collaborate and they would uh, do the joint projects together on a future technologies. So not only this, our core faculty at the university, uh, at the faculty of technology, they are uh, from the diverse background and uh, they are very young and uh, enthusiastic uh, faculty members who are giving a lot of time with the students and conceptualizing the new projects based on the emerging technologies and the real life, life problems, uh, whether it's a computer science in engineering, electrical engineering, or, or uh, electronics and communication. So these are some of the points and uh, I think we'll take it forward as uh, more uh, questions uh, we'll invite from the audience. Ananji, over to you. About various BTEC programs which are offered by. We're going to talk. Uh, sir, can you hear me? Yeah. Yes, I think we lost Mr. Anand. Dr. Anand. Anyway, so uh, while he joins back, uh, I would like to share some of the uh, some of the points uh, I have captured in. Uh, uh, in some deck of slides. So I hope all of you can see uh, these slides. So I would like to, uh, you know, take you to the, you know, existing composition where we are having 13.8% of the female students and 86% of the male students, which is uh, uh, the very uh, 
different uh, ratio we want is to be 50 50 or different so and this is the last year you know uh, admission uh, how we happen and what kind of state participation took place so if you look at uh, the slides on the left you can see all the states from where we are getting the students uh, and i think we have the representation from entire india and all the states have the fair amount of uh, you know, uh, the participation except the Uttar Pradesh, which has the largest number of, you know, applicants we received. And on the right, you see the, the combination of all the three departments, the computer science engineering and electronics and electric uh, communication engineering and electrical engineering, where you can see that all the states have a very, uh, you know, interesting, you know, mix in all the three departments. So, <clears throat> Similarly, if you see the board-wise distribution, we have all the boards, we have participation across India, and the largest is from CBSE and Rajasthan, uh, and then Bihar, then UP board, and these board composition, but uh, as all of you are aware that we have the uh, admission, which is purely based on the JEE score, and the major distribution is here on the right in the pie chart. You can see the 44%, uh, you know, from CBSE, the 44% in ECE and 14% uh, for uh, for electrical engineering and 40% and uh, in computer science and engineering. So... Uh, this is the board where you know the largest number of uh, admissions happened in different categories last year uh, this is the trend how we are moving forward and this is the snapshot of the faculty members we are having right from the very very senior and eminent faculties and uh, and all our colleagues they are working dedicatedly with the students and these are some of the domains uh, we are covering uh, for every applicants to uh, to be aware of uh, in electrical machine, cybersecurity, blockchain, optimization techniques, and activity-oriented lectures, uh, all, all the cybersecurity issues like cryptography, operation research, control theory, machine learning, and many, many other in all the three uh, departments, we are covering all these domains for, for uh, effective learning. And these are some of the facilities uh, you can see in the labs, we have majorly focusing on the workshops where students are giving the hands-on exposure and they have to, you know, open all the machines and learn and making them work together. And uh, all these students are, you know, spending their maximum time in the day in these workshops to learn and, and provide uh, and to gain maximum, you know, experience on the on these live machines in the real time environment so whether it's a uh, electronics communication or or the electrical labs and so on and so forth so uh, as as i mentioned that we we believe it more hands on experience and hands on learning so all the students are are advised and given exposure to do it by your hands then you go to the theory and 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 uh, learn more about it and and execute. And these are some of the you know uh, you know cultural events or the get together where the students are organizing the different kind of event. This is the 23, uh, 2023 event which is called Praram, and uh, all these students they organize these uh, events within the university uh, at a much larger scale. So and this is also a little success story I would like to share with all with all of you that uh, our two students they got they got the first prize in the 10 round based coding competition which was held in iit delhi uh, these two students are the jack Anson and nishant agarwal so uh, so students are exposed in a diverse environment and they they are encouraged to you know participate uh, across india in different kind of events and uh, and uh, the faculty provides all that support to all these students so that their holistic development can take place. So, so this is uh, the roadmap which we are following in our uh, faculty 
the maker's lab where the students come up with their ideas and they design their own uh, you know set of uh, experiments and they can de design their own device uh, they are free to do collaborate they they are going to national events like uh, hackathon and different kind of uh, conferences and we provide them the semiconductor design facilities quantum computing access and Gen AI and all these kind of new concepts which are coming and emerging under the artificial intelligence and machine learning. Similarly, on the side of physical systems and the wireless power transfers, sustainability in the green technologies, advanced control system, and of course, the renewable energy technologies. So these are some of the key domains where we are aggressively working and we are making it happen and and we are sure that the students are taking the maximum advantage out of it so this is uh, some uh, some of the points i i wanted to share so thanks everyone so over